Hello guys, making magic here and happy new year to you all. I uh, wish you all have a success successful 2017. I know that's a bit later but I've been busy uh, for a few days and I'm back now with uh, another tutorial and this is on how to create a nice little healing particle effect in Unity and also using GIMP. So if you don't have GIMP, uh, GIMP is a man uh, image manipulation program and it's quite awesome, it's free and it's quite powerful. So if you don't have it, just download it from their website, I'll be including the link in the description uh, for all you that don't want to search for GIMP. So when you have GIMP, just open it up and you're gonna get something like this. So when you get this, just go to File and new and set the width and height to 180 pixels of course if you don't have to change to pix as pixels 180 and go to advanced options then and uh, fill with transparency the other things we won't be touching and uh, when uh, that's done uh, we're gonna create some guides to separate our screen on four quadrants uh, to do that just go to image guides and new guide by percent you're gonna get a little tab opened over here a little window click it set this to 50 and horizontal press ok do that again image guides new guide by percent find that at the bottom again and go to change the direction now to vertical and press OK. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a toolbox if you don't have it uh, go to tools and toolbox. Now press the rectangle tool over here and draw a little rectangle uh, I mean draw it on your own wheel uh, to create it as nice as it can be I'm gonna leave it as it is it's probably okay now we're gonna fill it with color so uh, you can change the color here to white but you can just switch it over here and you get the white color as primary color uh, select the paint bucket tool and fill it with white color now press the rectangle tool again and create another 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 rectangle as beautiful as you can create it I think it's okay. Fill it with color again, and you're gonna get this this nice little cross. What you wanna do now is uh, we're gonna go to filters, but first go to get the layer tab. You can get the layer tab at Windows, Talkable Dialogs, Layers, and when you have the layer tab, just right click on the first layer over here and alpha, click, press alpha to selection and go, now go to filters blur Gaussian blur I'm gonna change it with 300 I think that's a lot but it's quite okay now when you have that done uh, we're gonna go to file and export our file export as cross effect you can cr export this as anything you want sorry for the caps log but I didn't know I have it checked uh, go now go to when you're exporting find the project one export it in I'm gonna go to tutorial one where I have all my tutorials and go to assets export to assets and export now just press export don't look at any of the options 
when you have that exported open up your unity project that you exported the uh, effect the image in and just open the open unity and you can close gimp now go to assets and find this effect so cross effect over here i have already have a few crosses so that's not important but now when you have that done just create a material so right click create material we're gonna go with the effect and go to inspector mode over here inspector tab and change the shaders from standard to uh, particles priority alpha blended or priority additive soft is quite okay I'm gonna go priority additive soft and just drag the cross effect onto the texture I mean the cross effect onto the heat texture so now it looks quite Okay, this is our this is our particle right now, single particle. What we're gonna do now is go to game object and create a particle system. We're gonna first go to emission, uh, actually shape, and create a little. We're just gonna tighten it up at the top. And we're gonna change the speed to a bit lower number. And now we're gonna change the mission a bit to we're gonna set the mission to a bit lower number to three. It's okay. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to render, click render, click the render tab over here, and drag the cro the cross effect with C effect the C effect or however you call the effect and just drag it on default particle effect material so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and check a size over lifetime so press check size over lifetime click on this curve over here and set the size at the beginning to 3 and at the end to almost 0 as you can see it gets creates that nice looking effect okay now when you have that done we're gonna go to check color over lifetime and check it and click it Let's change the color as it's gonna get this little filled up space and click this little arrow over here or whatever it is weird rectangle I don't know what this is and this little thingy and set the alpha to zero Now, when you have that done, uh, we're almost finished with these things, but we're gonna duplicate it to create a nice looking uh, effect uh, that's gonna go with this effect. Pretty nice. So, we're gonna duplicate it and set it as a child of the particle system one. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check off the size over lifetime and under the renderer if you don't have the material you're gonna use now go to assets import package and particle systems but you can and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to materials and we're gonna search for particle fire and we're gonna drag it onto the material under the renderer so now we have this little particle fire and we're gonna Increase the lifetime a bit, uh, and now we're gonna change the color of it to a bit greenish. Greenish color, it looks quite nice. And also we're gonna change the cross particle color to a bit nicer one. This one's gonna be, let's say, pure green. Okay, it looks quite nice, right? Now what we're gonna do now, we already have this, but it's not quite done. What you're gonna need now is uh, like a source of this health. So we're gonna go to game object particle system and we're gonna set it to we're gonna set it as a child of the particle system and we're gonna set the coordinations to zero 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 
0 and what we're gonna do is gonna set the speed to 0 and uh, then we're gonna go to renderer and set it from billboard to mesh and set the mesh from cube to plane and we're gonna resize it at the edges so it creates this nice looking plate okay we have that done uh, now we're gonna change the rotation at the X to minus 90 and we're gonna drag it a bit down and set the size to a bit smaller number okay now that's that's okay but we're gonna have to resize it a bit on our x-axis change the starting color to okay that looks quite nice and we're gonna change the emission to 1 so we get this halo effect a bit more spotted out okay now it looks quite nice uh, we're gonna change the size a bit to a bit higher number also and uh, now what we're gonna do is we gonna go uh, we're gonna go to color over lifetime check the color of lifetime and press on the click on the color and set a few spots over here one two three go four spots and rearrange the spots so it's a bit so the space is between the spots is the same I mean the same at least close to the same and at first spot set the alpha to zero and the second after to zero again and then again to zero at the end now it's gonna create like this uh, it's gonna make like this nice hidden effect out of it like it's bursting something like that and now we can change cha create the camera game object camera to see how it looks okay and we're gonna go to skybox to solid color and we're gonna go with gray and hit play to see how it looks I think it looks quite nice uh, I want to know what you think so let 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 the, some of the thoughts in the comments down below and if you like the video and you're new to this channel subscribe uh, if you're a current subscriber please uh rate the video and let me know what you want to see next thank you for watching and uh, see you next time guys bye